Good morning, our viewers across the globe. To a wonderful Sunday, the third Sunday in the month of November. Bring you greetings from the throne of grace. This morning, we shall be considering the theme, divine healing. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this great opportunity to listen to your word. Lord, we pray that every word that will be pronounced will mix with faith in the heart of your people to provide the appropriate results in Jesus' name. We have taken our text from John chapter 15, John chapter 5 rather, verse 6, which reads, When Jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said unto him, Will thou be made whole? So the title of my message this morning is, Will Thou Be Made Whole? Sicknesses are devices of the enemy to bring man to a state of despair and probably death. There are numerous kinds of sicknesses. Some are short-lived and others are long-lived. Some have medical solutions while others do not. Some sicknesses are as a result of exposures to environmental factors such as poor sanitation, trauma, or burnout of the individual due to exhaustion. There are some sicknesses which are due to malnutrition. The Bible rightly describes some sicknesses as unto death. We find that in 2 Kings chapter 20, verse 1. The Bible describes some other sicknesses as those that confine their victims to a state of despair. Like the case of the man in John chapter 5, who has been confined to the poolside for 38 years, hoping to find someone who will push him into the pool immediately the angel visits. His case was more pathetic because he could not help himself even if he saw the angel stirred the pool first. Likewise, the case of King Ezekiah in 2 Kings chapter 20, he found himself in a state he could not help himself due to the extent that the prophet Isaiah brought a death sentence from God to seal up his faith. What a terrible situation. Again in Acts chapter 9 verse 32 following, there is a man named Ananias whose faith has been sealed up for over eight years to be bedridden with a sickness known as palsy. Hmm. Yet another man at Lystra, in the account of Acts chapter 14 verse 8, who has been crippled from birth has his destiny sealed up to a state of despair. So sicknesses are a physical or, and in some other cases, emotional unwellness of an individual, which describes an impairment of normal physiological function affecting parts or all of an organism, or in this case, a human being. Unwellness can lead to death or disability, temporal or permanent. The Bible rightly puts the author of unwellness in people as the devil, who has come to steal our ability and wellness, destroy our joy, and kill. You may be seated there in listening to the voice of my mouth, or reading the script with a condition similar to any of those described above, or even worse. I bring you hope from Jesus Christ, who has been given to mankind, to one, give life, 
to you in abundant measure. John chapter 10 verse 10 B rightly puts it that you may be suffering from affliction of any kind of sickness in which the devil is sniffing life or has snuffed life from you. Jesus Christ has life in abundance to regenerate those dying cells in you and bring you back to life. In John 11, Lazarus was dead for four days in the grave, despite being in a state of decomposition, Lazarus was brought back to life. When Jesus called on his name, Jesus is calling on your name this morning. I beg of you, hear his call and be rejuvenated. Number two, Jesus has brought you joy. And this joy in full measure in John chapter 15, verse 11, the Bible says, you may be in any state of pain. Jesus has joy to replace that pain. I want to tell you that pain is an unpleasant physical and emotional state due to sicknesses. Maybe not in all cases, but in this case, sicknesses, unwellness, I bring to you Jesus Christ who will suit your pains and bring you joy in replacement. Jesus Christ gave that man who sat for 38 years at the pool at the ship market joy. When Jesus encountered him, Jesus Christ asked him, man, do you desire to be made whole? The same question has been put at you this morning, this moment. Do you wish to be made whole? If your response is in the affirmative, receive divine healing this moment in Jesus' name. The gift of abundance and permanent joy becomes yours in Jesus' name. Number three, Jesus gives freedom. In John chapter 8 verse 32, it says, if Jesus Christ set you free from the shackles of sicknesses, you are free indeed. Jesus Christ set that man at the pool of Bethsaida free from his bed, which he has been his status symbol and limited to. Peter used the name of Jesus to set Ananias free from his bed, who has been his companion an object of despair for eight years in Acts chapter 9, verse 32. In the same way, vein, I use the name of Jesus. I proclaim that healing that you so desire unto you. Let it operate in your body now in Jesus' name. I declare that you arise from that sick bed and walk a healed man in Jesus' name. Number four, Jesus gives healing unto the broken hearted. Are you broken hearted? From the sicknesses you are passing through? From the reports you have received from various medical examinations? From individuals, counsel? In Luke chapter 4 verse 18, Jesus put it to us that at such a moment, the Holy Spirit of the Lord is upon him. And because he has been anointed to preach good news unto the poor, he has been sent to proclaim liberty to the captive and recovery of sight to the blind. To release the oppressed, that sickness manifesting in your body is an oppression of the devil. And the Jesus Christ has got the antidote. In verse 19, Jesus Christ says, to preach that he has, been, he has been ordained to preach the acceptable year of the Lord unto you. I put it across to you today is your moment of healing from that sickness. You are healed and set free from the oppression of that disease. Irrespective of the state, irrespective of the result, the confirmation that medical science must have put across to you. If the faith 
of Lazarus was reversible. Yours will be reversible and is reversible at this moment in Jesus' name. Receive ability. Receive capability to do the impossibility in the name of Jesus. In conclusion, there is no disease that is exempted from the reach of Jesus Christ. And there is no list anywhere that contains any disease that the reach of Jesus cannot reach. Let nobody poison your mind that your case is beyond remedy. If Lazarus could be given a second chance, King Ezekiah could receive 50 years lifeline just by praying and presenting his case before God. You are the next in line to receive a lifetime, a clean bill of divine health. I'd like to reassure you again that Jesus loves you and desire to give you a new life, give you joy, heal your broken heart, and set you free from the clutches of those diseases this moment. Consider moving over to Jesus' side and embrace his hand of help being stretched at you this moment. Let us pray. Jesus Christ, you are the greatest healer and the sanctifier. May it please you to heal this sick of diverse diseases this moment. Listening to, the, to my voice, reading this script across devices, across the internet, in Jesus' name. Be sanctified and be whole in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus.